Alrighty guys, so this is a big one for me. I have tried for years to get this interview and it is finally happening. We got Jim, the man from Premier Rides. Jim, good to see you. How's IAP been this year for you guys? It's been fantastic. Uh, it's pretty evident they're having a record attendance this year because we've had the busiest booth we've ever had. So I, I guarantee when those numbers come out on attendees, everyone's gonna go wow because this place has been packed. Good. Now, hearing that you've had a, a good show is something that we always want to hear, but I've seen over the last couple of years, you guys are selling more attractions over the last few years than I think I've ever seen you. It seems like we're seeing skyrockets all over the place. In fact, we just opened Tigris at our park. Right. Can you tell me about some of that and kind of the surge that's happening for Premier Rides? Well, I think Premier Rides has been fortunate that, you know, we are part of the IAPA group. Uh, the IAPA Association is, has become truly global, and because of that, we travel all over the world, and so we've had great opportunities open up throughout the world. So we've got major attractions that are being commissioned right now. Uh, we've got some over in Asia, we've got some in the Middle East, we've got some in the Americas. So we've really expanded all around the world. And there is a lot of growth in the world. Our, our business, you know, we are in the business of fun, and people just love not only premier rides attractions, but they just love what this industry is, you know, bringing all over the world with it, which is a lot of joy and happiness and fun. You know. Now, of course, one of the rides that caught my eye is this little beauty right behind us. Is this, isn't this gorgeous? It's Look gorgeous. at this. I actually think it's one of the best looking trains that's on the show floor. It literally likes your you're breaking through the ice in this. Again, we have our normal skyrocket style trains here. But this is going to be going to SeaWorld Orlando for Icebreaker, correct? It is. It's Icebreaker is going to be an excellent, excellent attraction. It's going to be awesome. It's uh, it's really it's a custom ride. Yeah. So they had they had a piece of land which was very unique. It's got it's it is it, yeah. It's not not only tiny in the sense that of small space. It actually you're going to see you go over like three thousand feet of track. You're going right. So you're going to be in a quad launch system. So, and every launch is giving you airtime. So I think there's a total of like 16 airtime moments on the ride. So a lot, a lot. And it's got a over vertical spike. So you're gonna go back up a spike and before you drop, you're actually not only be looking down, but you'll be 110 degrees. So that's gonna be slick. Now again, Premier Rides has the ability to do custom theming as we see an icebreaker train here. We've seen Tiger Prince with Tigers and whatnot. Is there anything you guys really can't do when it comes to theming or is it sky's the limit per se? Actually, you know, what Premier Rides is famous for is technology and one of the things that technology allows today that it didn't 10 years ago is to do amazing theming that with these, you know, these three and six axis machines that you're able to get incredible detail and just the amount of skill level that's required for that. It's a lot of computer work, right? But um, what comes out now is just so beautiful. It's really impressive. Nice. Now, of course, everybody knows Premier Rides for your premier attractions, per se, but they don't really know that you guys do a little bit on the maintenance side, per se. You offer full parts catalogs, replacement services, and kind of support that way, correct? Yeah, Premier Rides, when it was started, actually was a service company before it built attractions is based on the theory that before you sell cars, you have to have that service center. So we, we actually are the largest provider of aftermarket service in the industry. And that's because we don't just do premier rides work. We, do, we provide work for anyone else. So there's a lot, people use the term orphan rides, that are rides that the original manufacturer is no longer around. And so we will help, help with those types of rides. And we are, we're a resource to find spare parts, find service. We're also, because the regulatory environment has gotten tougher and tougher, which is a great thing because it's raising the bar for safety, there are a lot of rides that need to be updated and we do a tremendous amount of updating. We, we call it our legacy program. So as an example, all around the world, we as an example, Ocean Park, they have some amazing rides that are legacy rides. So they're original manufacturers like Arrow are no, no longer around. But we've gone in there and done tremendous updates on some of their rides so they can extend the life of them and the millions more people can ride and join them. 
Not just that, you're saving the money too, I think, which is a, a key important thing, of course. Jim, you've spent a lot of time in the industry, as we can see all the accolades that you have. And I'm gonna put you on the spot just for a quick second, but sure. when you've been with Premier Rides, is there one memory that sticks out in those 25 years where you just kind of close to the heart? Well, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot. If I, if there's one, it's almost. I should probably be. A, I should probably be a salesman and talk about one of our rides when it opened and people were high fiving, which I like talking about. But you know, I'll tell you, being here at IAPA, one of the great things is just the, how passionate our industry is about helping people. Uh, I'm very honored that I've been involved as a, one of the founding people on the Harley Davidson run for Give Kids the World, and you know. If you want to talk about tugging on the heartstrings, you know, we just, we always start the week with a Harley Davidson run through Orlando. And at times we actually go to the Give Kids the World Village, which is, you know, where pe you know, kids that are terminally ill might go for their last wish of their life. And it is nice to, and very special to be part of that. And I, it's, you know, Premier's a conduit for having those opportunities. So, but I mean, I do, you know, I love every ride we open. Uh, I'm, I'm honored that we have clients like Universal, Six Flags, SeaWorld. SeaWorld, we are doing, this is our fifth attraction in five years. So five for five is, is just, you know, I asked them about that and they said they couldn't even think if that's ever occurred before. They didn't even realize it's five for five, so it's great. To my knowledge, I can't remember another manufacturer having that kind of streak. So I'm very proud to see you guys doing such great work. And uh, again, Give Kids the World, fantastic cause to actually do. If you guys don't know anything about it, please look up Give Kids the World and, of course, the Harley Davidson run that uh, Jim is involved with that. Jim, I cannot thank you enough for speaking with us. I'm really looking forward to the coming attractions and the coming future for Premier yeah. Rides. Right. You're going to see some great stuff this year. I mean, Guinness World Record attraction in the Middle East is opening up that is going to blow your mind. The uh, robotic coaster where we're going to have 32 of the largest ve coaster vehicles in history going around at the same time, each one with a KUKA robot on it, with you sitting at the end of that robot on a, on a coaster. Talk about, talk about Harry Potter on steroids, yeah. you know? So, and, and then West Coast Racers. West Coast Racers is so close. West Coast Racers. I tell you, if I was, uh, I'm, I'm very hopeful that there's going to be a hell of a Christmas present for Six Flags Magic Mountain guests coming. Please, Santa. Please make it happen. But again, Jim, thank you so much for speaking with us. I do wish you well for the future with the company and uh, as, as a whole. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Great talking to you.